Morning. Oh, hey. <laughs> Where are we headed? We're heading down to a little place called Leading Edge Detailing today to get ceramic coating done on the new M2 competition. It's obviously something that is quite important with a nice new car. You want to keep the paint as nice as you possibly can. And ceramic coating is something that I've done on the last two cars that I've had, the BRZ. You remember we did a video on it years ago now. Um, it was one of the first videos we did on the channel, in fact, and we did it on the M235i as well. So we're going to do it on this today. Uh, Leading Edge Detailing is a prestige detailing workshop, I guess you could call it. I've never actually been there before, but I've known the owner for a couple of years now. And it is a pretty incredible place. They've got a whole bunch of very, very, very wealthy clients with some pretty freaking amazing cars. <laughs> and he's got a sim set up there too, apparently. Oh, with um, yeah, he's got like some sort of a customer leaderboard thing that he's set up. So yes. we might have to see if we can destroy that as well. I'm, I'm sure we're going to destroy you. I know that. Well, I mean, well, that's true. <laughs> but I mean, he does have a lot of genuine race car driver clients as well that get their cars prepped there and everything. So we'll All see right. how we go. So anyway, we're just going to have a fun cruisy day, have a bit of fun, and yeah, see what happens Sweet. and learn about ceramic coating while we go. It's beautiful. Should be fun. Explain exactly what we're what we're checking here. So this is the thickness of the paint. Yep. Uh, technically speaking, not just the paint. So the clear coat, the color, yep. and the primer to the metal. So everything between the surface and the metal. That's basically. right. Yep. One thousand microns is yep. one millimeter. Yep. Okay. So this is telling me that the the thickness of whatever it is above the metal is yep. zero point one of a millimeter. Okay. And you don't know how much of that is clear coat, how much of that is paint. Correct. So that's uh, your window of tolerance. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, we believe that I think 40% is the clear coat. Okay. Uh, and does it tend to vary much across the car? car yes. or Okay. It would. Yeah. So even if the way that we use these gauges is that we, we can check if a car has been in an accident. Yeah. Because when we go to this, and this would have been, this SS Commodore would have been painted by hand many, yep. many years ago. Yeah. Um, and when it's painted by hand, so 76 microns is very thin. Yeah. 93 is very thin. And yeah. then if you reach a panel, that 42 is almost oh, no geez. paint. Yeah. That's going to be fun. But then that, 55, that yeah. tells me that at some point in at this car's point, life, yeah. that's been resprayed. But yeah. this car's here will be uh, resprayed sprayed by robots yeah yeah so it should vary from about 90 to 110 yeah. all right time to see what we can do in the sim here we've uh we're set up with a sim magic m10 uh fanatic v3 pedals uh, we're in a seto corsa a porsche gt3 rs at wakefield park and the time to beat is a 103.7 which i'm pretty sure we're going to see tumble pretty soon Yeah, look, he's done a 103.14, uh, but I'm pretty sure I can get in the 102, so I'm gonna see if he'll get out and let me have a go now. All right, come on, 102. Surely this is a 102. Nah, 1031. Ah. Oh, you're still slower than me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so after a few setup tweaks, I did manage to get into the 102s. I got a 102.89, but uh, as you can see from the screen there, Will has gone in with a scorcher of a 102.4. So, um, congrats, Will. He's not listening. He's concentrating too hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've finished putting, well, I haven't, but these guys have finished putting the coating on the car. There's a couple of different layers. 
I don't really understand how it all works. So Eamon is going to explain what we're doing and what these funny red lamps are doing as well. Sure. So <laughs> tell us about what we've done. Thank you. So basically, uh, this beautiful brand new M2 competition came here today. It was delivered fairly well from the dealership. It was. Um, it was the BMW. Yeah, good well delivery. Done. Well done. Yeah. Good delivery. So after a quick wash and decontamination, we proceeded to apply IGL Kenza ceramic paint protection on the car. Yep. Uh, on the paint in particular. So yep. as you can see, the final layer is now getting baked on with the infrared shortwave curing lamps. Okay. Because infrared shortwave curing lamps. That is right. So they're mainly used in the, I guess, the smash repair and paint industry because. Right. It warms up and heats up the, the metal underneath the paint. Ah, so it's like, it's like a microwave, right. it's cooking it from the inside that, out. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, and because it's bucketing down today and you have such a long drive, we thought, let's yeah. cure let's it, sure let's cure it properly. Let's cure it as safe as possible. Yeah. So this car received, uh, IGEL Kenza is a two layer product, it's a five yep. year coating. So yep. this is the second layer all done. Mm -hmm. We also coated the windows yep. and coated the wheels. and. People ask, you know, why do I need to coat my windows? Which is a fair point. You're not going to get many things staining your windows, <laughs> right? It's a convenience thing. Yep. So when you're washing your car and the water and dirt is falling off yep. your paint and you're loving life and then you get to your windows mm. and it sticks on there and you yeah. wish you had them coated. So I remember <laughs> the previous cars that I had coated when I went to wash the wheels, it was like you just hit it with a jet washer and everything just flies straight off and it just was awesome. So. Well, you're, you're gonna love washing yeah. the wheels. The M2 competition <laughs> wheels are <laughs> the worst wheels by in the far world. the worst wheels in the world. So I um, cannot think of a worse design for washing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, the coating will make it a lot easier, but have fun. It'll take yeah. you longer to wash the wheels than the car. At least they're dark colours, so they won't show the dust yeah. too much. Show me what we've actually put on, and because there's a massive wall of stuff over here, and I don't really understand any of it. So, so with the IGL range of products, yep. it's split into two sections. You have your retail products that yep. are also for professional use. Yep which are the consumables, and then you have your ceramic coatings. Yeah, and so, they're not available off the shelf to the public to the no. public because you need to kind of know what you're doing because you could That's do right. some serious damage to yourself as well as the car. That's right, but, yeah. and also we want to make sure that whoever uses that product does the right thing yeah. because ultimately you don't want to have a great product give, be given a bad name. Yeah, because people don't know how to use it. Exactly, Yeah. yeah. exactly. So. IGL Kenzo is the flagship product, it's yep. the best that uh, IGL coatings offer mm -hmm. and this is the new graphene reinforced Kenzo, yep. so it has 20% more durability, it mm -hmm. is to my knowledge the only brand that is ISO quality certified, Okay. so we can send you through the test data and the weathering yep. machines and you can see how it performs, it's pretty amazing, it's a lot, yep. a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes. Because IGL is a business. pretty massive company too. Isn't it is, it? Yeah. yeah, it is a very very big company indeed. Yeah. Um, they specialize in nanotechnology, so they have yeah. coatings for everything. Yeah. So we put this on your car, we mm -hmm. put wheel yep. on the car, and this is a high temp specific yep. coating. Okay. You can actually do your exhaust and exhaust tips with this. Okay. Best product for dusty brake pads, especially from BMWs. Yeah. I know first hand. <laughs> and, uh, We're going to have a look at your car in a minute, actually. Yeah. You know, if it's a little bit in pieces, but. That's all right. And then you have the, the window coating. Yep. So yep. there's the headlight coating there, mm -hmm. which we can put on or we can put PPF on. Yep. And you have exterior plastic trim, which your car doesn't really have. Yep. Um, and then you have the interior stuff. So yep. it's quite a lot of different products, all different chemistry and applications. So what's the difference between something like that, for example, and say just like Rain-X that you could buy from you know, your regular sure. automotive store? I would say that one is the cost yep. and cost of raw material and development. Yep. Um, that leads to much better performance and durability. Yeah, okay. So, so with Rain-X, for example, I used to put that on all my old cars. It would usually last like maybe two months if I was mm -hmm. lucky. So this couple of years. I would say two or... to three years. Okay, yeah. let's have a look at the Supra. Yeah, go for it. Here. So this is like your track car slash advertising banner slash <laughs> yes. daily driver yes. kind of. <laughs> Keep me, keep me broke and honest. Yeah, yeah. So this is the Supra. As yeah. you can tell, it's dirty. <laughs> because I, look, uh, I mean, by yeah, <laughs> by your standards, it's dirty, I suppose. <laughs> well, it's it's not too bad for a car that's done so many yeah. track days. I think it's spent more time on the track than it has on the road. You've, got, you've had this like six months ish. Yes. Yeah. So probably well, done about ten track days already. <laughs> um, you, you took it to the track like the third day you had it. Yes. Didn't you? Yeah. With 200 kilometers and the dealership fuel <laughs> in there. Is there, was there a revenue or anything? No. No? Okay. No, so you the, could just straight away? Yeah, dealership said drive it like you stole it and the first, we, we serviced it soon after but yeah. the, 
the dealerships for some odd reason, and this is a BMW, I know it says Toyota, yeah. but it's a BMW. Yeah. With the BMW B series engines, they, they don't seem to be running, they just get serviced yeah. after two what years. Also, so, so I'd be interested in your opinion on that actually, because one of the things when I had the M235i that always kind of scared me a bit is that like, you only change the oil every 30,000 kilometers mm. or something, and I'm like, that doesn't seem safe. I would have been so, safe. Like, do you, do you change the oil in this after every track day? Or Pretty you, much. Yeah. What have you actually done to it? Sure. So, in terms of bodywork, obviously we're a detailing shop, so the car has to stay looking good. Yep. So we have paint protection film over the whole car. Yep. Uh, underneath the, the stickers. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of performance modifications, it has HNR lowering springs. Yep. Vorschlag camber tops. Yep. Uh, various engineering, full aero kit. Yep. Uh, a dump pipe and a tune. That's it. And, and you're getting 300 kilowatts-ish? Yeah, just under Ooh. 300 kilowatts, That's I would say. 220 at the wheel stockish, Something like that? Yeah, depending on which dyno you go to. Yeah. Um, they do pick up quite a lot, so it picked up about 70 kilowatts at the wheels. That's For a dump and tune, that's pretty darn good. Yeah. And, it uh, just goes to show how much kind of headroom they build into these things these days. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot the roll cage as well. Oh yeah, yeah, let's have a look at that. There you go. It's a good package. We do have the M Factory coilovers coming. Yep. Uh, which I think will considerably help with handling. So what's the what what do you actually intend to do with the car? Like what's the what's the master plan? So the master plan is ultimately I'd like to see it dip into the 102s at Wakefield. Yep. Yep. And low 140s. You're doing you're doing time attack this year, aren't you? Yes. Well time attack. Yes. Yeah. So we've entered that. Uh, nice. we don't really have a hope of winning the class, but we want to go out there, and if we can't be the fastest car, we'll At be the shiniest. Good on the track. We'll right? be the shiniest. That's it. That's it. <laughs>so that is our little adventure down to leading edge detailing to check out their sim set some lap times and get the car coated with ceramic paint protection so we'll do a couple of videos leading on from this or carrying on from this where we'll talk about you know washing the car with the paint protection the types of things we have to do a little bit differently from there but look really it's just a part of the story overall and let us know what else you'd like to see obviously we've got to run the engine in we've got to do all kinds of little bits and pieces like that we've got a dash cam we've got to install but hopefully you guys have found this one interesting as well let us know what you'd like to see more of down in the comments below as well and yeah guys thanks very much for watching thanks again to leading edge detailing as well for letting us spend the day looking over their shoulder while they worked on the car uh yeah guys we'll see you again soon bye